Hello everyone, I'm MVN and welcome to my 2017 game room tour with over 30 different systems and over 1100 games. First I'll guide you through my video game consoles and then I'll show you all of the games in this room of doom. So without further ado, let's get started. So first up is the Atari 2600 and the Vectrex, and here it is, very excited to have a Vectrex, here it is playing the inbuilt game Mindstorm, and the controller over there has a bit of a wonky joystick, but I'm still very happy to have it, and here is the Atari 2600 playing Yars Revenge on a Sony Trinitron TV. Then we have another Sony Trinitron, this one's a widescreen and in the media center underneath we have a Nintendo 64 and a PlayStation 2. I also play my PlayStation 1 games on this. Underneath that we have an original Xbox, I feel like this system is a little underrated because for its generation it had a lot of the best ports for the time, at least graphically. Here we have a Sega Dreamcast and all of these systems are plugged in by RGB SCART. Over here by this Panasonic flat screen we have some more consoles and first up I'd like to show you my Pong system. This is a Prinztronic Micro 10 two player Pong console, really cool to have that. And uh, next to that we have a Commodore data set, this is how I play my tape games on my Commodore. And we have a Master System Converter for the Mega Drive Model 2. Also works on the Retro Freak. Now here is the PS1. I play all of my PlayStation 1 games on my fat PS2. Here we have the vintage computer starting off with the Commodore 64 in all of its glory. And here is the Amiga. That's an Amiga 500. Also have a 1200, 500 plus and VIC-20, but none of them work. Here we have the Mega CD attached to the Mega Drive Model 2. I also have the attachments to put this on a Mega Drive 1 if I want to. Love this system, lots of great games for it. Next to that we have the Master System Model 2. Now if you're wondering why none of these are plugged in, it's because of the Retro Freak, which I'll show you in just a bit. Here we have the Mega Drive Model 1 as well. Up here we have the original Xbox One, <laughs> which is a really stupid name, the Wii U, and the Wii, which is actually plugged into the CRT TV, and I play my GameCube games on this because it has GameCube and GameCube controller ports included. More consoles down here, and first I'll show you the portable consoles, I'll move this Xbox controller out of the way. First up we have the Pro 200 computer game, now I found this in my back garden, I thought I lost it, which was really cool to find that again. Here is the PlayStation Portable, now this is the Slim and Light model, which I mostly play on the TV, and it's the Final Fantasy 7 10th Anniversary Edition, really cool to have that. Under that we have my Nintendo 3DS, now this is the Pokemon Y version, and it's also backwards compatible with the Nintendo DS, giving you a huge library of games that you can play on this system. Next to that we have the Game Boy Advanced SP, this is not the backlit model but it's still really cool to have that, and we have the Nintendo DS right here. Here we have the GameCube and this has the Game Boy Player attached which allows you to play Game Boy, Game Boy Color and Game Boy Advanced games on this system which is awesome. The Sega Saturn here, now I don't have enough space to have all of my consoles plugged in at the same time and I don't have that many games for the Saturn because I was strong with the PlayStation at the time. Recommendations are appreciated in the comments. Here we have the Super Nintendo and next to that we have the NES. Now this has been modified to be a front loader with a blinking light win and I have done a video video for that on my channel which you can check out. Again these systems are not plugged in because I play them on my Retro Freak. Here we have the real Panasonic 3DO, that's how you want to play your full motion video games. And here we have the Philips CDI. Now I feel like this system gets a bad rep but there are some really good games for it which I'll show you later on when I talk about my games. Here we have the TurboGrafx-16, this is the European model, which means you can't attach the CD attachment but it's still really cool to have this great system. Up here we have the Xbox 360, this is really really noisy, this is the Super Nintendo Mini, now I'm very lucky to have this, I know they're quite hard to get hold of, there's the gamepad for the Wii U, and this is a Luna White PlayStation 3, and here we have the Uncharted 4 PlayStation 4 uh, modern gaming system right there, I really like this system, very comfortable to play, and this is where we have the Retro Freak, now this is what I play a lot of my cartridge systems on, it rips the ROMs right off the cartridge and you can play them with the original controllers, really cool system. I did a full review on that. You can check that out on my channel. And next to that we have the NES Classic Mini. HDMI systems are plugged into the flat screen right there. And this is a recent addition, but thanks to the magic of editing I am able to include it. I just bought myself a Nintendo Switch and here it is. I should note that like with the Wii U where I got the Wii U Pro Controller, I also picked up the Switch 
Pro controller because I wasn't sure if I would like the Joy-Cons, a bit gimmicky in the same way as the Wii U gamepad, but nevertheless, pretty happy to have this. And as I pick up more games for the system, this will be my preferred way to play them. And as the system's docked, here it is on the big screen, and that's really cool that you can do that. Now I'd like to show you my computers. First up is this HP laptop. This is a Windows XP machine. I use laptops instead of desktops because desktops are really big and I don't really have the space for them. Laptops are a lot smaller and easier to move around. Here is my next laptop. This is an Asus computer. This was formerly my main computer. This runs Windows 7. Now between this and the XP machine, I can run most of my old games. Here is my main machine. This is a HP Windows 10 laptop. It's great for streaming. And talking of streaming, I use an Elgato Game Capture HD to stream and record gameplay footage for my video game pickups. I've also picked up this HD video converter that converts SCART to HDMI so I can show you the best possible footage for my videos. Now let's have a quick look at controllers. Firstly you see in this PlayStation Move light gun, this thing looks awesome and I feel powerful holding it. Underneath that we have these plastic containers that contain most of my controllers. This one contains most of the controllers I use more regularly to hand. In here we have the PlayStation 2 controller, the Xbox controller, Dreamcast controller, we have N64 controllers, we have Super Nintendo controllers. For some reason we have the CDI controller in here, I'm not really sure why. We have the N64 Pikachu Pokemon controller. This is the Legend of Zelda Gold Wiimote that came with Skyward Sword. Really cool to have that. And down here we have the Dreamcast keyboard just because it fits in here. I think I used that once to key in my name in Fantasy Star Online. Underneath that we have a load of cables for the various systems. You've got to keep them somewhere. Getting that out of the way we have another box full of loads of controllers. On top we have a CDI light gun right here. This is an N64 shark fin controller from Logic Free. Here we have the House of the Dead hand cannon for the Wii. I really love that thing. This is a Konami Justifier for the PS1. And for the Commodore 64, the Defender. That's another light gun. And the Guncom 2. I've got lots of light guns. If you're wondering what's up with the plastic bags, it just keeps all the cables organized. Digging deeper, we have a third-party Dreamcast controller, which is pretty cool. And down here, we have a Super Nintendo mouse. Over here, we have a joystick for the Sega Mega Drive. Great for your arcade games and your shooters right there. Over here, we have a turbo pad for the Super Nintendo. And over here, we have another light gun. That's a Guncom 2. I've got lots of light guns, like I mentioned before. Here's a Guncom 1. For the PlayStation 1, and one of the reasons I have those CRT TVs is for light gun games. Now down here we have a fight stick for the PlayStation 1 that's modelled like a PlayStation. That's really cool and it has turbo for all of the buttons there. And here is a really unusual light gun for the PlayStation and PlayStation 2. It's the Micro Uzi. Can you believe what this thing looks like? It looks like a real gun. I mean if you cut the cord there, that would look like a real Uzi. Here is the official Mega Drive arcade stick. Now this is not as good because it's not micro switched. And here we have a Tomb Raider mouse mat. I wonder what the new Tomb Raider movie is going to be like. But without further ado, let's move on to the games. These are in no particular order. There are more Commodore and Amiga games on one of the other shelves, but I'm gonna start off here. Got June for the Amiga. Next to that we have another Amiga game, which is the Leather Goddesses of Phobos. Scratch and sniff. Next to that we have the big box of Commodore games. This has tons of games for the Commodore 64 on floppy disk. And then right by that we have the Commodore 64 value pack. Lots of games on that. And then next to that we have Barbarian, and this is how you do cover up for a computer game. I know you guys like that. So there you go, that's Barbarian, the cover off of that. And we have a ton of Commodore games up here, starting with Ambush, which is a space shooter, and that one's really cool. Next to that we have Burger Chase, Buck Rogers, Ghosts and Goblins, Kong Strikes Back, Rambo, Quasimodo, there's Space Harrier, Crystal Castles, Gauntlet, that's a great one, and Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles in a box there, and I'll show you behind that so you can see these are double stacked. So just getting some of these out of the way right here, you've got uh, Green Beret there, it's a really cool game. And over here obviously you have the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, it's good to see that in the box for the Commodore. Then you've got some more games here, Classic Arcadia at the top there, Commando, Spacewalk, Iridium, Shinobi and Silkworm, Silkworm has awesome music and then the Quattro hits there. You've got uh, a couple of games here, Batman 
and it tells of Arabian Nights about the uh, cover. Another quarter set of games and a bunch of Mega Power sets. Some of those are full games on them. Here we have my loose cartridge NES games. Now these are my only loose carts on display. I'm going to show you all of my cartridges at the end of the video because most of them are tucked away. Most of my systems I have more loose cartridges than I do boxed games and I'll show you them all at the end. These are only on display because they're in these cool uh, cartridge containers right here which are really cool. I like those. But I'll give you a better look at all of these right at the end of the video where I'll show you all of my loose cartridges. So we'll start off in this section right here. First up we have my only boxed Famicom game, Super Xevious, which is an awesome shooting game. I like these cases for these Famicom games right here. Got some more cartridges, but that's my only boxed one. And we have Lolo 2 right there, Digger, T-Rock, Pac-Man, Solar Jetman. We have some Super Nintendo games, Alien, Cybernator, Starwing, which is Star Fox, Super Allstate, Street Racer, and then we have some 64 box games right here. We've got the Aiden Chronicles right here, which is in a plastic case, which just came with it, where I got it from. Um, obviously not the original case, Banjo-Kazooie, Donkey Kong 64, Mario Kart 64, Mario Tennis, Perfect Dark, love this game. Pokemon Stadium, really awesome game, lots of great mini games in that, and of course it came with the transfer pack to play the Game Boy games on it, which is really sweet. So down here we have Space Station Silicon Valley, Star Wars Shadow of the Empire, The Legend of Zelda, that's just the regular grey card edition. I could have got the gold one at the time, but I didn't, I regret that. Turok 2, Seas of Evil, Xena, which is a pretty good multiplayer game for the N64, and we have some... Master System games, Alex Kidd, The Lost Stars, Dragon Crystal, this game is really good. Operation Wolf, which is a shooter gun game. Power Strike, Space Shooter, really good. Rastan, that's really cool. Shadow Dancer, Shinobi. Shadow of the Beast, look at that artwork right there, that's cool artwork. I really like that. Then we have Space Harrier, that's a good one. Time Soldiers, that's a really cool multiplayer game. There's some Mega Drive games, Aladdin, I used to like that on the Amiga quite a lot. Alicia Dragoon, that's a really cool game. And here we have the Arcade's Classic Collection with Centipede Pong and Missile Command and Blades of Vengeance. Now this case has some sun damage with a spot that's clear that probably had a sticker on it, but it's still really cool to have that game. It's great. There you go. Another Classic Collection, this one has Gunstar Heroes in, which is really good. Really like that game. Pretty awesome right there, and then just over here we have Cool Spot. And on this shelf right here, first up we have Cyborg Justice, a robot beat-em-up game. That's really cool. Then we have Decap Attack, which is a really awesome platformer where you throw your head at your enemies. Next to that we have Gaia Res, a space shoot-em-up game. That's a Japanese case, but there's an American cartridge inside there. Next up we have Galaxy Force 2, which is a bit like Space Harrier, it's a really cool game there. Golden Axe 2 next to that, another sequel, really awesome beat em up game right there. We have Jewel Master, this is a sweet game, really interesting, you have different powers you can use on your rings. Kid Charmeleon, where you can take different forms of enemies. Last Battle right there, it's a beat em up. Mega Bomberman, cool game there, Bomberman games are great. Mega Games 2, really good games in this collection. Shinobi, Streets of Rage and Golden Axe, really good collection of games there. Another good collection here with Mega Games 3, Alien Storm is really sweet, super fun to play, and a racing game. And Michael Jackson's Moonwalker here, <laughs> yeah, it's actually a pretty good game. Not as good as the arcade version, still pretty cool. Normie's Beach Babel Rama, that's a really cool game right there. Felios there, another space shooter, awesome to have that, really cool game. Space Harrier 2 there, actually looks really good on the Mega Drive. Splatterhouse 2 there, another really awesome game. Horror game, I really like that, I did a let's play for it. Revolution X, that's a gun game that you can't use a gun for. Got a couple of Sonic games, Sonic first game, Sonic 2, and we have Strider, which is really cool, and Thunder Force 
four really awesome space shooter right there and then a couple of games I couldn't fit on the shelf we have Xenon 2 Mega Blast which is really cool means it's not as good as the Amiga but it's still really good and then I have a reproduction cartridge of Mega Man The Wily Wars which is a load of Mega Man games um, obviously this is not real but this game is really expensive so still happy to have that so there you go over here we have some more vintage computer games. We have Electron Invaders for the BBC Micro, which is a Space Invaders clone. We have Arcadia for the Commodore 64. We also have Chiller, which has a Michael Jackson thriller music. I believe the reissue of that game took that out. We have Creatures here, Crazy Comets, Defenders of Earth, which is a Flash Gordon game, Gaplus, which is a Gallagher sequel, Gemini Wing for the Commodore there, Ghostbusters from Ricochet by Mastertronic, which has Invader Load as the loading game, which is one of my favourite games of the Commodore. We have Gladiators, which is a shooter, Ice Palace, Last Mission, another shooter in a big case there, Laser Force, another shooter, we've got Legend of the Amazon Women right there, we have Leviathan, an isometric shooter there, Mad Nurse, that game's really cool. We have Moon Cresta, and what do we have here? Renegade, which is a beat em up game, an arcade port. Some more Commodore games over here. We have Sidewinder 2 from Mastertronic, a cool space shooter right there. Next to Silkworm from Mastertronic Plus, their value range. That has some really awesome loading music. We have Star Quake, a ricochet game from Mastertronic. We have Street Warriors, that's really cool. Also, Storm, which is a cool game right there. And Storm Warrior, which is a really sweet game, actually, a really interesting game. The game changes quite a lot as you go through it. Next to that, we have the real Ghostbusters. This is an arcade port, and this game is really cool. Next to Insanity Fight for the Amiga right there. This game is a really cool space shooter. Now let's move on to the PC games, and first up we have Age of Wonders, which is a really cool fantasy turn-based strategy game. Next to that we have Aquinox, which is missing part of the cover, but it's still cool to have that. Over here we have Baldur's Gate 2, and we have the Command and Conquer games. I used to have all of the Command and Conquer games, some of them in the big boxes, but now I have them on EA's Origin. Here we have Commandos. Beyond the Call of Duty, and Creatures Free. Here we have Counter-Strike, Condition Zero, and Discworld Noir. Now this is a really awesome game. Uh, it's also on consoles, but I happen to have it on the PC, and that's where I played it from. We also have Ed Hunter, which is a really awesome game, using the character from the Iron Maiden albums. There's also an Iron Maiden album in there, which is really cool. Next to that we have Get Medieval, which is a really awesome gauntlet clone. Then we have a couple of racing games right here for the PC. Next to that we have Icewind Dale. I actually have this in the big box. There we have Kingdom Under Fire, which I can't show you because the CD key is on the case. Here we have Lands of Law 3, which is a really cool first person RPG game. There we have Lords of Magic, a tactical fantasy game right there. Here we have Marbus, which I'm missing the front cover, but I still have some of it. It's an adventure game. Still good to have that. Magic Carpet 2. Here we have Midtown Madness, another racing game. Over here we have Power, Lies and Corruption. This is a collection of games which features June 2, one of my favourite strategy games of all time from Westwood. It also has UFO and Beneath a Steel Sky. Really cool games on there. June 2, one of my favourite games to play on the Amiga. Over here we have Nemesis. This is a really cool space shooter. Look at this. Shock Troopers Second Guard on the PC. Now this is a Korean version. I'm not sure it's entirely legitimate, but it is cool to have that and be able to play it. Uh, I also have Return to Crondor here, which is really cool to have that. As well as Sin and the expansion pack for Sin. So those are pretty cool games, some first person games right there, the Wages of Sin expansion pack. Here we have Space Station Simulator and Star Trek Borg. Now this is a really awesome game, a full motion video game in the Star Trek universe. I really like that game, but it doesn't run on anything except Windows 95. Starship Troopers there, the video game. We have Stonekeep, that actually used to come in a coffin big box case, which is really cool. Test Drive 4x4 and 7th Guest. Now, I actually have this on the CDI as well, which is probably my preferred way to play that game, because I don't need to install it uh, like the PC version. 
Down here we have Utopia, the creation of a nation. We have Worms, Reinforcements. We have Excess, Shields Up, Fight Back. Now this is a PC Engine Hue card game, War of the Dead, and I can play this on my Retro Freak, which is really cool. This is a really awesome game. Next to that I have another Hue card game in the case, this one for the TurboGrafx-16, the US version of the same system. Blazing Lasers is an amazing space shooter. Here we have Alien Gate, which is a space shooter for the CDI, and we have Burn Cycle for the CDI. Here we have Dymo's Quest. This game is pretty cool, it's a really nice hidden gem for that system. Here we have Golden Oldies 1, which includes Guardian, which is Defender, and a Space Invaders clone. We also have Mad Dog McCree, which is a gun game, and Mutant Rampage Body Slam. This is a really cool side-scrolling beat-em-up. One of the best games for the CDI. Here we have Steel Machine, a space shooter for the CDI. So it does have some good games in it. Tetsuo Gaiden, which is another space shooter, 3D one, which is really cool to have that. And here we have the seventh guest. This is my preferred way to play this game because I don't need to install it. And we also have The Apprentice. This is a really good platform game for the CDI. Here we have The Voyeur for the CDI. Don't get caught! Need I say any more with this game? But you're going to see more of that sort of thing when you move over to my 3DO games. I have Alone in the Dark 1 and 2 here. Really cool to have those. I also have Blonde Justice. You've got to have Blonde Justice, haven't you? Then we have D here. That's pretty cool to have that. Gex is one of the cool platforms from that system. Well, they're also ported to the PlayStation. They've got uh, Power Kingdom, that's an RPG. We have Sex, of course we have Sex. Why wouldn't we? Uh, Starblade, this actually has a reworked version and the original. The Lost Files of Sherlock Holmes. I actually got this for free with another game I bought on eBay. We've got uh, Theme Park, and then some mega CD games here we have. Uh, Sega Classics, this has a bunch of different games on it. And then another collection there of Soul Feast and Cobra Command. Final Fight CD there, really awesome game. And then we have Sonic CD. This is a really good Sonic game. If you're a Sonic fan, this is why you want a Sega CD or a Mega CD in our case in Europe. Some more Sega games down here. We have Night Trap. I actually have this on the PS4 now from Limited Run Games. We also have Time Gal, another full motion video game. And then we have a Sega Saturn game, Virtual Cop 2. Now this is only here because it's in a jewel case and it fits in the shelving quite nicely there. Then some Dreamcast games, Charge and Blast. Choo Choo Rocket, ECW Hardcore Revolution, Fighting Force 2, there's some more games over here, Jet Set Radio, Fantasy Star Online, Quake the Arena, Shadow Man, we have Shenmue here, I'm actually missing the outer case for this. I have no idea why they didn't put these in a different case so they were all together. Um, I don't have the outer sleeve, which is why it looks really strange, but they are the same game. Shenmue is an awesome game for the Dreamcast. We have Sonic Adventure here. Soul Calibur. Nomad Soul. Tomb Raider, The Last Revelation. You've got Toy Commander, this game was recommended to me. Trickstar, which is a snowboarding star game, but on hoverboards. You can't take that hoverboard on water! Unreal Tournament. And Virtua Fighter. Then just down here we have Zombie Revenge. This is a really cool game. Two player zombie shooting action up there. Anna Konnikova's Smash Court Tennis there. Ape Escape. Asteroids. This is not as good as the originals. Batman Forever, the arcade game. We did a Danger Zone episode about this. You should check that out. Blaze and Blade. We have an upcoming Danger Zone episode about that. It's a really cool game. Bomberman World. C12 Final Resistance. Colony Wars The Red Sun. Crusader No Remorse. Crusaders of Might and Magic Die Hard Trilogy. This is a really great game. Dino Crisis. Duke Nukem Land of the Babes. Oh guys, this is a really cool fighting game with Final Fantasy characters in it. Eliminator. Everybody's Golf. Evil Zone. I've had this game a really long time and it's a really cool fighting game. Excalibur. Now I believe the American version of this has the main character blonde and dressed a bit skimpier. Extreme Ghostbusters. This is a really terrible light gun shooter. Fear Effect. Awesome game. And 
Fear Effect 2. And then we have my Final Fantasy collection. I really love Final Fantasy games. Final Fantasy 6, Final Fantasy 7 in a disgusting platinum case. Final Fantasy 8, now I have three versions of this and maybe four working discs between them, which is kind of annoying because I went through a lot of discs on that one. Final Fantasy 9 and Final Fantasy Anthology, which is really cool to have that. I actually got that with one disc first off and I had to get the second disc separately. And I have more Final Fantasy games or things like the PlayStation Portable further on. G Police and G Police Weapons of Justice and Gauntlet Legends, which is actually a pretty cool game. I'm talking about pretty cool games, Hard Edge, that's a pretty sweet game from Sunsoft. Hybrid right there, an interesting first person shooter in Cold Blood. Jade Cocoon, now this is an awesome game, it's like a combination of Final Fantasy and Pokemon. Really interesting there. Kensai is a fighting game. Kudelka, which is a really cool horror game. Soul Reaver right there with a reflective case, I'm not sure if you can see that, but it's kind of a 3D effect on there. Life Force Tenka, Loaded. Lone Soldier, Martian Gothic, another horror game there, Metal Gear Solid, and Metal Gear Solid the Special Missions. Mobile Light Force, a cool port of a shooter game right there. N2O, ODT, Overboard, known as Shipwreckers in the US, Pax Corpus, and Rayman 2. And then moving on down here we have Resident Evil and my newly picked up Resident Evil Director's Cut. I always wanted this. Really cool to have that now and to upgrade from the horrible Platinum version. And Resident Evil 2, love that game. Resident Evil 3, also great. Resident Evil Survivor, an underrated light gun game. Then we have Riven, the sequel to Mist, Ronin, Blade, Silent Hill, fantastic game. I really like this game. Shooter San Vien, Strikers 1945-2, Siphon Filter, a really great game, and Siphon Filter 2, Tekken in uh, this really interesting case. I haven't seen many like this, but it's a cardboard case rather than a dual case. I know it came in both. Tekken 2, really great game, and Tekken 3, love those games. Tenchu, Stealth Assassins, and Tennis Arena, The Hunter. Time Crisis, I love me some light gun games, Time Crisis is awesome. Time Crisis, Project Titan, Tunguska, Urban Chaos, Wild Arms, this is a fantastic RPG, really like this. And a kind of western theme to it, Smackdown, man I put a lot of time into Smackdown. Smackdown 2, over here to the Game Boy games, I have a lot more Game Boy cartridges, but as I mentioned, I'll show you those at the end with all of my loose cartridges. First of all, we have for the original Game Boy, Kirby's Pinball Land, which is a really cool game. Heroes of Might and Magic for the Game Boy Color, Yoda Stories. Now, now the annoying thing about some of these Game Boy cardboard cases is they don't have the name of the game on the side. Now this one's got Yoda on it, which is fine because you can tell what it is, but often I have to write the name of it on a sticker on my shelf. Next up we have Wario Land 3, Advanced Wars for the Game Boy Advanced, Black Belt, Metal Slug, this is really cool. Pokemon Ruby and Pokemon Sapphire, now these include the Game Boy Advanced Wireless Adapter, which is awesome. And here we have Pokemon Sapphire, here we have Shining Force, this is a remake for the Game Boy Advance, and then another remake with Shining Soul for the Game Boy Advance also, and this one obviously has no title on the side, which is really annoying. Sigma Star Saga, which is a really cool combination of RPG and Space Shooter, which is awesome. Zelda, Link to the Past, and Four Swords on that, which is really cool. Then we have some DS games, Chrono Trigger, Dragon Quest, Final Fantasy 3, Final Fantasy 4, Final Fantasy Revenant Wings, and we have Final Fantasy Chronicles Ring of Fates. Down here we have more DS games, Final Fantasy The Four Heroes of Light. Final Fantasy Fables, Chocobo's Tales, Final Fantasy Tactics A2, Izuna, The Legend of the Ninja, Mystery Dungeon, My Japanese Coach, I want to learn Japanese so I can play my Japanese games without language patches, Super Princess Peach, this is an underrated game, that's pretty good actually, uh, 
Yu-Gi-Oh! That game is probably rated just as much as it needs to be. Resident Evil Deadly Silence. This is a really cool remake for the Nintendo DS. Really taking advantage of that dual screen. Star Fox Command. Now this uses a stylus, so I don't like it so much. On to 3DS we have Dead or Alive Dimensions. Fire Emblem Awakening. Fire Emblem Fates. This is a special edition with all three games on it. Pokemon Y. Pokemon Omega Ruby, Pokemon Sun, I know there's a new edition of Pokemon Sun out as well. Samurai Warriors. Over here we have Senran Kagura Burst, and if one scroll wasn't enough, we have Senran Kagura 2 with two scrolls. And then I have a bunch of uh, special edition cards which came with the other one. I think these are pre-order bonuses that came with the uh, Senran Kagura 2. We also have Star Fox 3D. The Legend of Zelda Majora's Mask 3DS. And we have the Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time on the uh, 3DS. I've got a lot of boxes here. Most of my boxes have been tucked away because they're taking up too much room. But I still have a bunch on display. So first up for this PC stuff we have Platoon here for the Atari. We have Vixen for the Commodore 64. Now that's front cover up right there isn't it? Don't have the giant poster inside though which is a shame. For the Amiga we have Bart vs the Space Mutants, I believe that came through the magazine. We have Top Shots Poker <laughs> over there, Captain Dynamo, Gemini Wing, an upgrade from the Commodore 64 version, the Amiga version looks much nicer, Xenon, Zed Out, and then we have some RPG games here, we have Blood Witch and Blood Witch Data Disc there, which is really cool to actually have that. And then we have Cybernoid 2. Zynaps, and then some PC games, we have Blair Witch Limited Edition, this is free games, a triple pack, they're actually not that bad, the guy who bought them off said they were not so good, but they're for a pound at car boot sale, we have Breed, which uh, kind of feels like an incomplete game, Dawn of War 2 Retribution, this is a special edition that comes with an art book, can't actually play it however because the CD key has been used and it needs Steam to install. More PC games. Now over here we have some trading cards that came with the Icewind Dale 2 and Icewind Dale 2 bonus disc. Now here's the bonus disc right there and uh, that's the pack that came with. Unfortunately the box is damaged but I still have the adventure pack which came, I believe I got this from PC World and it just came with it. Haven't seen another one since and that's one of the items that was water damaged uh, the first time around last year when my stuff got damaged. Real shame because the, uh, the poster in there is damaged. Um, haven't seen one of those since. I mean, you can get the uh, box game of Icewind Dale 2 fairly easily, but that I have not seen since. We have a 10 game collection there. The only reason I have this is it has the Legend of Lua, which is a Zelda type game. We have Guild here, Heroes of Might and Magic. I already talked about Icewind Dale. We have Mist Free Exile, Neverwinter Nights Deluxe Edition. Now this includes all of the bonus content, which is really cool. We have Rise and Fall here, Civilizations at War. Role playing games. This is a double pack that contains Neverwinter Nights and the Temple of Elemental Evil. Really cool to have that, that's really interesting. Roller Coaster Tycoon 2, Titan Quest Limited Edition. We have the Sherlock Holmes The Case of the Silver Earring. I only got this because it came with a DVD. Sherlock Holmes and the Secret Weapon, and it was less than a pound, so I couldn't really argue with that. I have since picked this game up on the Wii, which would be my preferred way to play it. And then I have the Temple of Elemental Evil in the big box, which is really cool to pick that up. I got that car boot sale for about a pound. Down here we have the Witcher Enhanced Edition. Next to that, tucked away, we have Two Worlds Game of the Year Edition. We have Baldur's Gate and the expansion. Now I used to own this when it was water damage when I first had problems with my roof, but I since picked it up and I'm really glad to have that once again. And next up we have Baldur's Gate 2 in the big box as well, really cool to have that. We have Dungeon Keeper in the big box, I picked this up in a charity shop, which is really cool to have that. Pool of Radiance, something I managed to save from water damage, the collector's edition. There's a D&D figure in there which is really cool. Populous big box game, I got that from a car boot sale for about a pound, the same with this one, the Great Battles Collector's Edition, and Stephen King's F13, which I kind of wish I didn't have. Icewind Dale here, really cool to have that in the big box. And then down here we have some more big box PC games, we have Master of Orion, and then from Limited Run we have Night Trap for the PC. This is still sealed because I have no real reason to open it. I discussed that before, I have it on the PS4 as well, this is a bit of an impulse buy. If anyone wants to see that opened up and see the contents, I will open it up, but they gave me a Steam key when I got it, so I have no reason to open it up. 
And then we have Nihilist with the PC right there as well. And Phoenix, Phoenix right here. Now this is also sealed and I don't really collect sealed games. Since I've had this, I haven't had time to play it. So that's the reason it's still in the packaging. If you wanna see that, then I will open it up. Tomb Raider, Unfinished Business. This is an expansion for the PC version, which is really cool. Extra content on the PC version there. Ultra Fighters for the PC and Vanguards for the PC. One for the road. And then down here we have a DVD game of Tomb Raider, Lara Croft for everyone. And what this actually is, is just Angel of Darkness broken up into a point where you can play it with a DVD remote. Might actually make the game playable, which is kind of funny. Then we have some 2600 games that I do have in the box, Defender, because I really love that game, and Midnight Magic, because I just happen to have that. For the 3DO, we have Demolition Man, Gunslinger Collection. Now, I don't have a light gun for the 3DO, even though I do have one for the CDI. I really want a light gun for that. Sewer Shark. Now, I believe this looks better on the 3DO than it does on the Sega CD. Uh, Night Trap, again, this definitely looks better on the uh, 3DO than it does on the Sega CD, especially the European version which looks really nasty. And over here we have Supreme Warrior, which is still really difficult to control. Bunch of uh, cards here that came with limited run games. I'll just get those out of the way. Very small selection of Sega Saturn games. I didn't have one back in the day, and as I collect for everything, it's really hard to pick up games for individual systems. That's Robotica. We have Shining Wisdom as well. I really like the Shining Force games, so that's really cool to have that. And Virtual Fighter 2, which has a broken case. We have some limited run PS4 boxes here. Night Trap, which is really cool to pick that up. Wonder Boy, The Dragon Trap, that game's awesome. Soundtrack in there, and Yee's Origin, really cool to have that as well. Now I'm gonna go through the new shelves. First up we have Donkey Kong Konga there, Eternal Darkness, Final Fantasy Crystal Chronicles, the Game Boy Player, this is the disc to make the Game Boy attachment for the GameCube work. Godzilla, Destroy All Monsters, Harvest Moon, A Wonderful Life, that's a great game. Luigi's Mansion, Mario Kart Double Dash. Now this has the Zelda bonus content and I actually uh, took that sticker off so I remade that sticker myself. And we also have Mario Power Tennis and Mario Smash Football. Over here we have Metal Gear Solid The Twin Snakes. This is a remake for the GameCube, it looks awesome. Metroid Prime and the Resident Evil remakes. Resident Evil, Resident Evil 2 and Resident Evil 3. They're all fantastic on the GameCube. And Resident Evil 0. We have Sonic Adventure DX Director's Cut and Sonic Adventure 2 Battle in a Terrible Player's Choice case. Star Wars Rogue Leader, Rogue Squadron 2 and Star Wars Rebel Strike, Rogue Squadron 3. Over here we have Star Fox Adventures, Super Mario Sunshine, Super Smash Bros. Melee, The Legend of Zelda The Wind Waker, the special edition with the extra Zelda games on it, Day of Reckoning and Day of Reckoning 2. These are both really good wrestling games for the Dreamcast as well as WrestleMania X8. Onto the Wii we have A Boy and His Blob, Cursed Mountain. Dangerous Hunt 2011. We have Dead Space Extraction, Death Jr., Dragon Blade, Wrath of Fire, Dragon Quest Swords, Far Cry Vengeance, Final Fantasy Crystal Chronicles Echoes in Time, Final Fantasy Crystal Chronicles The Crystal Bearers, Final Fantasy Fables Chocobo's Dungeon. This is a really fun, cute, and cool game. Next up we have Fire Emblem Radiant Dawn. This is an excellent tactical RPG for the Wii. Really happy to have that. And we have Fragile Dreams, which is a really cool game there. Next up we have Ghost Squad, which is a shooter. GoldenEye 007, which is another shooter. A couple of light gun shooters there. The Arcade Hits Pack for the Wii. Really cool. Over here we have Harvest Moon, Magical Melody, Link's Crossbow Training, Mad World, Mario Kart Wii, Mario Party 8, love the Mario Party games, Metroid Other M, and Metroid Trilogy, three Metroid games on that collection there. And over here we have Knight's Journey into Dreams, No More Heroes, Red Steel, Resident Evil 4 The Wii Edition, Resident Evil The Dark Side Chronicles, Rygar, Sakura Wars, 
Sherlock Holmes, the silver earring. Sin and Punishment, a really cool light gun style game there. Awesome. And the SNK Arcade Classics, Volume 1. And the last of the three we have, Tales of Symphonia. Tenchu, Shadow Assassin. The Conduit, this is a special edition. The House of the Dead 2 and 3. The House of the Dead Overkill, we did a Danger Zone episode on this. The Legend of Zelda Skyward Sword. The Legend of Zelda Twilight Princess. We play. We sports. And we sports resort. I have a few Wii U games here. Bayonetta. Bayonetta 2. Star Fox Guard. We did a Danger Zone episode about this as well. It was a little bonus episode. And of course we did a Danger Zone episode about Star Fox Zero. The controls on that game really suck. The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. Yes, I do have this game, but on the Wii U. Xenoblade Chronicles X. Awesome game. I really like that. And Zombie U. Moving on to the original Xbox, we have 13. Alter Echo. Azuric. Lots of original Xbox. Backyard Wrestling. Blood Rain. BMXXX. Breakdown. Brothers in Arms, Road to Hill 30, Brute Force, Buffy the Vampire Slayer, Conan, Conflict Desert Storm 2, and Conflict Vietnam. Over here we have Conquer Live and Reloaded. This is a remake of Conquer for the original Xbox, which is really cool. We have Crimson Skies, Dark Summit, Dead or Alive 3, Dead or Alive Ultimate. This contains Dead or Alive 1 and 2, which is really cool. We also have Duos X, Enclave, Enter the Matrix, Evil Dead, A Fistful of Boomstick, and Fable. Over here we have Fable, The Lost Chapters. Now, this game is great. I originally played it on the original Xbox, but I recently live streamed it from the Xbox 360. I also have Fahrenheit. That is a really cool game. Freedom Fighters, Gauntlet. Gun, Onimusha, Halo, Halo Multiplayer Map Pack, really cool to have that physical DLC. Uh, Dungeons and Dragons Heroes, Hitman. Over here we have Jade Empire, the limited edition. A couple of James Bond games, Agent on the Fire, um, Everything or Nothing, and Nightfire, which is a really cool game for multiplayer. Just Cause there, Kingdom Under Fire, Lord of the Rings, Manhunt, Max Payne 1 and Max Payne 2. I originally played Max Payne 2 on the PC, but I like having it on the original Xbox to just put the disc in and start the game up without installing. Over here we have Mercenaries, Metal Gear Solid 2, some Midway Arcade Treasures, they're really great collections of games, Motorsport Mania 3, Narc, Ninja Gaiden, Oddworld, Stranger's Wrath, Panzer Dragoon Auto, that's a cool game, and Pariah. And we have Playboy the Mansion, Prince of Persia, The Warrior Within, Project Zero, this is an awesome horror game, it's really cool. Red Faction 2, Rogue Ops, Scrapland, Second Sight, Shenmue 2, now that's a great game. And another great game, Silent Hill 2, Inner Fears and Silent Hill 4 The Room. Over here we have Soldier of Fortune 2 Double Helix, we have Soul Calibur 2, we have Spawn Armageddon. Splinter Cell games, I'm not a big fan of these stealth games, but I do have a couple of them, they're pretty cool. SSX games, I am a big fan of them, they're really cool. SSX Tricky, I really like that game. Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic, really great role-playing games in the Star Wars universe. State of Emergency, Street Fighter, Sudokai, SWAT, Taito Legends, really awesome to have that, Tao Feng, a really cool fighting game with destructible clues, The Bard's Tale, The Punisher, The Suffering, and Thief Deadly Shadows. Over here we have Time Splitters 2, really love me some Time Splitters, Time Splitters Future Perfect, Total Overdose. Tron 2.0, Killer App, True Crime New York City, The Ultimate Spider-Man, Unreal Championship, Unreal Championship 2, Van Helsing, Without Warning. And now the last of the original Xbox, if we move into the 360 we have some WWE games, Raw, 
WrestleMania Jaeger there, 007 Legends, Akai Katana, Alpha Protocol, Assassin's Creed and Assassin's Creed 2, Blaze Blue, which is a fighting game, and Blue Dragon, a really cool RPG game right there. Over here we have Borderlands game add-on pack, physical DLC, I like to have that on the disc, Brutal Legend, Bullet Witch, Bullet Storm, and for some reason Bullet Storm Epic Edition, which is the exact same thing, Call of Duty Ghosts, Condemned, Dark Star 1, Dead Island, and Dead Island Riptide, and a Dead Island Game of the Year Edition. Here we have... Dead Rising 2 Zombrax Edition. This is really awesome. I'm not sure where my original Dead Rising went, and it also came with this, which is a Fortune City Guide. This is a really cool leaflet. It opens up to be a huge map of Fortune City, which is awesome. I think I got this as a pre-order bonus. Here we have Deadly Premonition. Deadliest Warrior, Ancient Combat. That's actually an NTSC game, but it works fine. Death Smiles, Deluxe Edition, a really cool shoot 'em game there. As well as Dodon Patchy Resurrection, another sweet shoot 'em up game. Doom 3 BFG Edition, that has the original Doom games on it. Dragon Age 2, the Dreamcast Collection. Dynasty Warriors Strike Force, and Eat Lead, the return of Matt Hazard. Enchanted Arms, Enslaved, Odyssey to the West. Eternal Sonata, Fable Anniversary Edition, I stream this, it's really cool, Fable 2, Game of the Year Edition, Fable 3, Fable The Journey, a Connect game, Fallout 3, a Game of the Year Edition, Fallout New Vegas Ultimate Edition, Final Fantasy 13 2, Fist of the North Star 2, Ken's Rage, Fracture, Gears of War 2, Limited Edition, Grand Theft Auto 5, Halo Anniversary Edition, Hunters, Infinite Undiscovery, Inversion, that's a really cool cover, I like that, Jericho from Clive Barker, here we have Cameo, Kane and Lynch 2, Killer is Dead, Kingdom Under Fire, Circle of Doom, Knight's Contract, L.A. Noir The Complete Edition, I'm streaming this right now. Left 4 Dead, Game of the Year Edition, Lollipop Chainsaw, this is the Nordic Edition, I actually had the extra content in there, the extra uniforms. Lost Odyssey, and Max Payne Free. Over here we have 99 Knights, Perfect Dark Zero, The Steelbook Edition, Persona 4 Arena, Prey. Prince of Persia, and for some reason I also have an alternate cover up for that. Project Slipheed, Red Dead Redemption, Game of the Year Edition. This is an amazing game that I'm going to have to stream down the line. It also includes the Undead Nightmare add-on, Resonance of Fate, and one of the worst games known to man, Ride to Hell, Retribution 1%. I wonder if 1% is a Metacritic score for that game. Over here we have Rise of Nightmares, a horror connect game, Risen 2, Dark Waters, Samurai Warriors 2, Shadows of the Damned, Soul Calibur 5, Splatterhouse, Stranglehold, Tales of Vesperia, The Darkness and The Darkness 2, of course, limited edition, the Dead Rising Collection, now as I've lost my original Dead Rising game, I actually have it in this collection. This also has the downloadable content, Dead Rising, Case Zero and Case West, which is really cool. Although not on the disc, which is a shame. Oblivion 5th Anniversary Edition, this has all the bonus content on it, which is really cool. And then I have Skyrim and also Skyrim Legendary Edition, which has all the content on it. The Last Remnant. The orange box. This is really cool because it has Half-Life 2 and Half-Life 2 Episode 2 and Portal on it, which are all amazing games. We also have The Saboteur. TNA Impact. Too Human. Venetica. Over here we have Warriors Orochi and Warriors Orochi 2 and some WWE games. Some of the later games, not a big fan of those. 
uh, Xbox Live Arcade that has some cool games on it. U Star 2, which unfortunately you can't download the extra scenes for. PC games here Age of Empires, Age of Wonders. Here we have Bad Day LA, and this is a Boulder's Gate DVD collection, so it's easier to install. Battlefield 2, Beyond Divinity. Here we have Black and White and Black and White 2. This is Carrera Grand Prix Racing Game, Civ City Rome. Here we have Civilization Complete, and now we have some Command and Conquer games. I've got a lot of Command & Conquer games, I really love that game series, it's a shame it's not going anymore, but it's a really good collection of games, and I've got this uh, Command & Conquer, the Ultimate Collection, there's no disc in there, it's just download codes, but that has all of them on, and uh, that's how I play them now. Counter-Strike, we have Dark Star 1, I can't get this to work, but I can get the UFO Aftermath to work, the uh, bonus game that they came with, which is pretty funny. Dawn of War, Devastation, Divine Divinity, and uh, Doom. That's a collection of the original games. Dungeon Lords, Dungeon Siege, and the Dungeon Siege expansion. Freelancer, that's an awesome game from Dust Till Dawn. Gothic 3, and so Gothic 3 expansion. Half-Life Generations. This has a bunch of great content on it, a lot of Half-Life stuff on, and I have Half-Life 2. I remember buying this and having to download the game off Steam, which really annoyed me, which is why I play on the Xbox now, and Hard to Be a God. I can't get this game to run at all. It's just a shame, because it looks really cool. Hell Forces, Heroes of Might and Magic Complete, Hexen 2, International Q Club, uh, what is this, Homefront, James Bond Nightfire, I normally play that on the Xbox, Legend Shoot Larry Collection, Lemmings, love that game, um, Locomotion, Lord of the Rings, Magic the Gathering, Battlegrounds, Medal of Honor, Memento Mori, and I have this in another case for some reason, but it's still cool to have it, that game's pretty cool, Metal Hearts, Replicant Rampage, Neuro Hunter, Neverwinter Nights 2, and Neverwinter Nights expansions there, Payday, Perimeter, a white label version of Planescape Torment, this has all of the patches on it, which is really cool. Postal 2 and Postal 2 Share the Pain, Quake 3, Quake 4, a collection of retro games for your computer, Stalker, Sacred Gold, and Serious Sam 2. Towards the end of the PC games, Shogun Total War Sonic Collection, Space Colony, Space Tripper. This is actually a very good space shooter, really cool to find that. Spell Force, Star Wars Action Pack. Now you know what, we used to play Star Trek Armada with a Babylon 5 mod, which was really fun. That was really cool. Star Wars Galactic Battlegrounds, The Creed, The Movies. This game is awesome, really fun way to make your own animations there. The Sims 3, I used to have all of the Sims games but they got water damaged. Theme Hospital, Theme Park World, Tomb Raider 3, Tron 2.0, Unreal Tournament. I used to play this game all the time, Unreal Tournament 2003 is just the best. Unreal Tournament 2004, Vampire the Masquerade Bloodlines. You know I have actually completed this game despite how buggy and glitchy it is. Warcraft 3 and Will Rock. And lastly we have some Worms games. Worms 2, Worms Armageddon and Worms World Party. So now we're going to check out this shelving unit right here where most of the PlayStation stuff is. But first of all I want to show you uh, the special editions that I keep in this container here. We have a bunch of stuff in here. We have Soul Calibur there, Tales of Grace, Majora's Mask, Star Fox Zero, Fire Emblem, and all of that kind of stuff. On top of that we have a Game Genie. I used to have to use this to pull out my cartridges because I had the Blinking Light Wind mod which makes it very hard to take them out, but it does what it's supposed to do. And uh, now I play it for the Retro Freak. We have uh, the Wonder Book of Spells here. Uh, that's in Slaved Bayonet 1 and 2. Uh, Zelda there with the Gold Wii Remote. Uh, Pokemon and over here we have this is really cool this is the Game Boy player for the Super Nintendo there's some really sweet enhancements on the Game Boy games you can get with this what's also cool is that the Retro Freak does emulate that as well which is really cool and over here I think we have the uh, Vault Boy bobblehead okay on to the PS2 we have 1945 1 and 2 Alone in the Dark The New Nightmare Baldur's Gate Dark Alliance and Baldur's Gate Dark Alliance 2 Barbarian Black Breath of Fire Dragon Quarter Buffy the Vampire Slayer Chaos Bleeds Burnout 2 Canis Carmen Edit which is Bully Capcom Classics Collection Volume 1 Carmen San Diego Chaos Legion 
Champions of Naraf and Champions Return to Arms, Clock Tower 3, Toad of the Samurai, Crazy Taxi, Crisis Zone, Crimson Tears, Dark Cloud, Dead or Alive 2, Deadly Strike, Demon Summoner, Destroy All Humans and Destroy All Humans 2, Devil May Cry, Devil May Cry 2, and Devil May Cry 3, and of course, Devil May Cry 3 Special Edition, Dirge of Cerberus, Final Fantasy 7, Dragon Ball Z Budokai 2, Dragon Ball Z Budokai 3, Dragon Quest, Journey of the Cursed King, Dragon Rage, Draken Guard, Dynasty Warriors 2, Dynasty Warriors 3, and of course, Dynasty Warriors 3 Extreme Legend, Dynasty Tactics, EA Sports Fight Night 2004, EA Sports Fight Night Round 2, End Game, Enter the Matrix, Eternal Quest, Eternal Ring, and Extermination. And over here we have G Surfers getting that out of the way. We have Fighting Angels, Final Fantasy X, Final Fantasy X 2, Genji, Gift. Gladiator, Sword of Vengeance, Global Defense Force, God of War, Goldeye, Gran Turismo 3, Gran Turismo 4, and Gran Turismo 4 Prologue, Grand Theft Auto 3, a Cheats Disc for Grand Theft Auto 3, Grand Theft Auto Double Pack, Grand Theft Auto Liberty City Stories, Grand Theft Auto San Andreas, Grand Theft Auto Vice City, Grandia 2, Guncom 2, Gungrave, Half-Life, Haven, Call of the King, Headhunter Redemption, Heroes of Might and Magic, Hidden Invasion, another artwork for Hidden Invasion, Hunter the Reckoning Wayward, Intellivision Lives! This is a really cool selection with over 60 Intellivision games on one disc. And next to that we have a terrible game, International Q Club and International Q Club 2. I don't know why I have those. J Cocoon 2, a really awesome game there. James Bond 007 Agent Under Fire. James Bond 007 Nightfire. Jet Iron GP. Kesson 1 and Kesson 2 and Kesson 3. Killzone. Lara Croft Tomb Raider Anniversary Collector's Edition. Tomb Raider Legends, Tomb Raider Angel of Darkness, yeah. Lego Star Wars the Video Game, Legend of the Dragon, Mako Shen Demon Sword, Malice, and Mana Kemia, Alchemist of Alrevis, really cool artwork there. On to the next level, I will move Project Snowbind and Rune Viking Warlord out of the way so we can have a look at Max Payne and Max Payne 2, The Fall of Max Payne, Metal Gear Solid 2, Metal Slug 3, Mobile Light Force 2, Exile, Mist Free, New York Race, based on the fifth element, Ninja Assault, Obscure, that's a really obscure game, Odin Spear, Uni, Onomusha 3, Onomusha Warlords, Orphan, Sign of Sorcery, Persona 4, Pirates, Primal, and Primal the Special Edition with a lovely cover there, Project Eden, Project Zero 2, Crimson Butterfly, Quake 3 Revolution, R-Type Final, Raymond Free, Realm of the Dead, Red Dead Revolver, Red Faction, and Red Faction 2, Red Ninja, Resident Evil 4, Resident Evil Code Veronica X, Resident Evil Dead Aim, Resident Evil Outbreak, Probotech Invasion, Samurai Warriors, Second Sight, Shadow Hearts Covenant, Shadow Hearts from the New World, Shadow of Rome, Shin Megan Tensei Devil Saga, and Devil Saga 2, and a special edition of Devil Saga 2, which came with this soundtrack disc. And then we have Lucifer's Call as well, Silent Hill 3, and Silent Hill Origins. Folger of Fortune Gold Edition, and the Sonic Gems Collection, as well as Soul Calibur 2. All of the Soul Calibur 2 games had different characters. PlayStation 1 had Hayachi, which is really cool. And the last one hidden away here is Soul Calibur 3. 
On the next level, nearing the end of the PS2 games, we have Tenchu and XG3. But uh, I'll get those games out of the way so we can look at the rest of them. First of all, we have Soul Reaver 2. We have Space Invaders Anniversary Edition. We also have Space Invaders Invasion Day and Special Forces. Sphinx, SSX, SSX3, Star Trek Voyager, Elite Force, Star Wars Starfighter, Summoner and Summoner 2, Siphon Filter, Tekken 4, Tekken Tag Tournament, great game there. The Bouncer, really cool game from there. The Matrix Path of Neo, The Operative, The Red Star, The Sims, The Snow Queen's Quest, The Thing. Time Crisis 2 and Time Crisis 3, Time Splitters and Time Splitters 2. Next up we have Time Splitters Future Perfect. Here we have a bunch of Tony Hawk's games, Tony Hawk's Pro Skater 3, Pro Skater 4, Tony Hawk's Underground, Tony Hawk's Underground 2, and we have Turok Evolution. Here is Twisted Metal Black Unlimited Saga. This is a cool RPG, this was subject to some water damage in my house, but I'm still really glad to have a copy of that. Next to that we have Urban Chaos and Valkyrie Profile 2, Vampire Knight, a gun game, Beautiful Joe, Virtual Fighter 4, Warriors Orochi, World Arms 3, really cool game there, really good RPG and a Western theme there, we have a bunch of Smackdown games, WWE games, I'm a really big fan of wrestling games on PS2, so we have a bunch of those, I was really into the WWE games on the PlayStation 2, and we have uh, X Squad and Yeez, the Ark of Napishtim, that's really cool, and then Zone of Enders and Zone of Enders, the second runner. And then down here we have the more modern PS3 and PS4 games. Um, these are in not the best order. We have As Divine Hearts, limited run game for the PS4 there. We have Caladrius Blaze, which is really cool to have. Uh, Nino Kuni there. And we have Beyond Two Souls. Bloody Premonitions, that's the director's cut. The Sega Free, Doctor Who. Here we have a couple of the Alchemist games. Really cool to have those. Assassin's Creed Brotherhood, Battlefield 3, Dragon Age, Final Fantasy 13, Heavenly Sword. Then we have Heavy Rain, the Director's Cut, Kingdom Hearts there, Little Big Planet, Medal of Honor. I'm pretty sure I got this game with a PlayStation 3 console, and that's why I have it. Resident Evil, Tales of Graces. I was missing the art book for my collector's edition of Tales of Graces, which is why I have two copies. One's the US, one's the PAL version, and uh, that's why I have that. Uh, Tales of Zia 2, Day 1 Edition. And up here's some PS4 games, a Crash Insane Trilogy. And then we have Ocean Horn there, Monster of Uncharted Seas from Rose Who Run, and Night Trap. I have the special edition, as you saw earlier. So over here we have House of the Dead Overkill Extended Cut, The Last of Us. Time and Eternity, Time Crisis, Tomb Raider Trilogy, Uncharted, and we have a bunch of Uncharted games because they're really good. Uncharted 3 there, and Uncharted 3 Drake's Deception Game of the Year Edition. Here we have Dark Kingdoms and Valkyra Chronicles, White Knight Chronicles here. And of course you've got the Book of Spells, how could you forget that? Here we have Resident Evil 7 Biohazard in this lenticular case. Next to that we have Wonder Boy, the Dragon's Trap. And then we have Yee's Origin, this game's awesome. So we're on to the PS4 properly now, we have Alien Isolation, this is the Ripley edition. We have Bound by Flame, Deception 4, Doom. We have Dragon Quest Heroes, Final Fantasy XV Deluxe Edition, Final Fantasy Type-0 HD, Grand Theft Auto V. This is the Temple of Osiris, Life is Strange, Mighty Number no. 9, Rise of the Tomb Raider, 20 Years Celebration Edition. This is really cool, I really like the new Tomb Raider games. This version has all of the extra content with it. Next to that we have Shantae, and we have Tomb Raider Definitive Edition. This has an art book in it, except it is slightly damaged. Until Dawn Extended Edition, Wild Guns Reloaded, really happy to have that. And World of Final Fantasy. 
And then right down the bottom here we have the PSP games. We have Ape Escape, we have Aliens vs Predator, we have Breath of Fire, we have Bubble Bubble Evolution, we have Final Fantasy VII Crisis Core, we have Dead to Rights, we have Dynasty Warriors games, we have Dynasty Warriors games some more, we have Final Fantasy, Final Fantasy for the Complete Edition, we also have Final Fantasy Tactics, Lands of London, Ghost in a Shell, Grand Theft Auto Liberty City Stories, Killzone Liberation, Medieval Resurrection, Mega Man X, The Namco Museum Battle Collection, Prinny, Can I Really Be a Hero, Samurai Warriors State of War, Sega Mega Drive Collection, Star Ocean, SWAT, Tekken Dark Resurrection, Trail in the Sky, Tony Hawk's Untold Legends, Untold Legends, some more games there. We have Valkyrie Profile and Worms Open Warfare and Smackdown vs Raw, which is a bunch of junk. Then we have a bunch of lonely Xbox games in the corner here. Not a lot of these because I'm much more fond of the PlayStation 4 Alien Isolation. I upgraded the PlayStation 4 version after that. Dead Rising 2, I think that's the reason I got the system. Fallout 4, Goat Simulator, Rare Replay, that's a really good thing, it's a good reason to have the console. Tomb Raider, Sunset Overdrive, that's the console exclusive actually, The Walking Dead, The Witcher, which is really cool, and some more Smackdown games. Okay, on to cartridges now. First up we have Alpha Mission, which is a cool shoot 'em up game for the NES. After that we have Blaster Master, that's a really sweet game right there. Cybernoid, The Fighting Machine. After that we have Donkey Kong Classics, two games on that. Also we have Fat Xanadu, really cool game right there. And then a really sweet game, Gunsmoke, I'm a big fan of this. After that we have Hide Light, that's a sweet game. Kickle Cubicle, a really neat puzzle game right there. Paperboy and Power Blade after that. So let's have a look at these ones over here. First up we have Probotector, that's Contra for you guys in the States. After that we have Rad Gravity, Robocop, and then we have Mario and Duck Hunt, because who doesn't love Mario? And then we have Teenage Mutant Hero Turtles, and we have the Guardian Legend. This is, of course, the European cover art. Love this game. And then we also have Wizards and Warriors. Now, I don't have a great way to store my loose cartridges, so this is just as they come. First up, we have some 2600 games, and Yars Revenge you saw in the console at the time. Really sweet game. We have Gorf there. We have Mario Bros. Really sweet game. Missile Command. Mrs. Pac-Man, she's insatiable! Phoenix there, really awesome game. Cubert. Starmaster, this game's really dirty. Over here we have Asteroids, love this game. And we have Berserk, really, really like that game. Really sweet game. Breakout, and then I have another copy of Breakout because I got sent a second one by accident. And uh, Combat, you've got to have a copy of Combat. And Frogger is a great game. And then Galaxian, I'm missing the end label there, but uh, still really happy to have that. Next up here we have some oddball stuff, including some Mega Drive stuff. First up, I'll do the TurboGrafx-16 Loose Hue cards. We have Alien Crush, Crater Maze, Gallagher 90, JJ and Jeff, Legendary Axe, and Vigilante, all really sweet games right there. And then I'll move into some Famicom stuff. Now, I'm not sure without looking at my retro freak, this one says Star Force, what the names of these are, but these are always sweet games, and I can play them with my retro freak, so that's really cool. Uh, Space Hunter, that's a really cool Metroid Mania style game, XZSX, and Argus there. And then we have. Uh, now this is Berserk for the Vectrix. Now this cartridge doesn't work, but it could also be my system. I'm not sure if it's the Vectrix itself, or this cartridge doesn't work. Uh, really shame, because I really like this game, would like to play it, but uh, I can't get that one to work. Uh, over here we have some Game Gear games. We have Haley Wars, which is a really sweet game, and Crystal Warriors. Next to that we have some Mega Drive games. We have The Legend of Galahad. Love some more stuff in here. We have Budokai, Gods, James Pond Free, 
And then uh, FIFA, uh, you got to have FIFA I guess, and Bulls vs Lakers, uh, a good game, Double Dragon, this only works on the Mega Drive Model 1 by the way, not sure why that is. Next up we have the regular sized Mega Drive cartridges and the Master System games, first up we have the Chaos Engine, we have Terminator 2, the arcade game, Sword of Vermilion, we have Ghouls and Ghosts, we also have Shining Force, this is a fantastic game, I love that game. We have Dungeons and Dragons, a D&D game there. We have Splatter House Free, and this is really splattered up. And then we have Growl, which is a side-scrolling beat-em-up game. This is Sonic and Knuckles for the Mega Drive. This can work as a pass-through card for other Sonic games to give you different levels, which is really cool. And that does work on the Retro Freak. Next up for the Master System, we have Super Space Invaders. We have Sonic the Hedgehog. We also have Secret Command and games falling everywhere. We have Hang On and Astro Warrior. We also have Choplifter and we have Aztec Adventure as well as another Mega Drive game, Wonder Boy in Monster World. Let's have a look at Super Nintendo and it doesn't fit in the drawer. First up we have Zombies, as in Zombies Ate My Neighbors, a fantastic game. We have Secret Missions. Also we have Super Strike Gunner. Super Mario World, Super Mario Kart, that's a fantastic racing game, Super Mario All-Stars, a bunch of the Mario games are at 16 bits there. We also have Mystic Quest Legend, and we have Equinox. Over here we have some more Super Nintendo games, Draken, we have Donkey Kong Country, we also have Desert Strike, and we have Battle Toads in Battle Maniacs. Over here we have Batman Returns. That's an awesome game. Street Fighter 2, this is Japanese, but it'll work on my Retro Freak. And we have this other Japanese game, which I can't remember the title, but it's on my Retro Freak because I ripped the ROM from it, from the cartridge. And now for the N64, we have Yoshi's Story. This game is amazing. We have Turok Rage Wars. We have Turok Dinosaur Hunter. We also have... Mario 64, we have Quake 2, and we have Pilot Wings 64. Over here we have Mystical Ninja, we have Lilac Wars, which is Star Fox, we have Duke Nukem 64, we have Castlevania, we also have Bomberman Hero and another Bomberman game, Bomberman 64. I shouldn't stack these like this, and 007 Goldeneye. Of course, you have this, this game rocks. Oh man! More cartridges, uh, but these are in a massive mess, so uh, bear with me here. What have we got? R-Type DX, that's a colored version of R-Type, really cool. Quest for Camelot, Pokemon Red, Pokemon Blue, and Magical Chase, that's a reproduction. We also have uh, Lufia, that's also a reproduction, it came with that, and it also came with Shantae, again a reproduction. Um, I don't normally buy reproductions, but I really wanted those games. And they're very expensive. Space Invaders. This has enhancements on the Game Boy Player. Super Mario Land 2. Super Mario Land. And we also have... Sorry these are in no particular order because it's a big mess. Game Boy. Game Boy Color games all over the place. Donkey Kong. This has enhancements on the Game Boy. Super Game Boy, that is. Bomberman Game Boy. And we have Turok 2. And Tetris DX, a color version of Tetris. Some more Game Boy games here. Some original ones, it looks like. Grey Karts. Um, Mystic Quest, Metroid 2, Return of Samus, and DuckTales. Okay, on to Game Boy Advance. And uh, these really haven't uh, stayed in order in there. Breath of Fire, Tony Hawk's, Pokemon Ruby, and some more over here. We have Metroid Zero Missions, Banjo-Kazooie, and we have... Do 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 Mario vs. Donkey Kong and we have Ultimate Spider-Man and a couple more in there. Uh, we have uh, Yu-Gi-Oh! there and Pokemon Leaf Green and uh, Phalanax. This is a really cool game actually. I like this a lot. Really cool space shooter. So here we are, we're at the end with some loose discs and some loose floppy discs. Okay, so some floppy disc games here. First up we have Heartlight, that's a PC game, and Mega Wolf, this is a version of Wolfenstein, but I have no idea how to get that to run. The rest of these are Amiga games, we have Ball, we have Better Dead Than Alien, we have Cyber Blast, we have Defender 2, uh, we have a couple of other cool games in here, Nightwalk is really sweet, X Out, uh, a lot of game compilations here, a lot of uh, 
a lot of games that came with uh, magazines. We have Lamatron on there, which is really sweet, and Asteroids. Lamatron is an amazing game, really colourful and really crazy game. A lot of our uh, game collections here, what would have come with magazines back in the day. And uh, we have another version of Lamatron there, I really like that game, it's really awesome. Uh, Puggles there, you know it's in a lot of games that are like other games, uh, Revenge of the Newton Camels on that disc, really cool there. Um, Sensible Moon, a version of Sensible Soccer. Transplant is on this disc, it's one of my favourite games of all time, a space shooter a lot like Asteroids. Uh, zombie Revenge there, and we finally have Lemmings there that came with, uh, <laughs> with your promotional pack. So we have a lot of loose discs here for PC games. Now I had some water damage back in the day. I lost a lot of my big box PC games, which is why a lot of these discs are in here. I recently dropped my uh, floppy disk container and this box, which is why I don't have the disc one for Bowler's Gate. But since then, I've picked it up in the big box. I'm really happy about that. Uh, these are front and back, so I'll show you the back just after the front. But we have some really cool games here: Age of Empires. Boulder's Gate, uh, we have Icewind Dale here, Neverwinter Nights, uh, Respect Inc, Hitman, Alien Gate for the CDI, Merlin's Apprentice, that came with a copy of The Apprentice that I bought for the CDI, and it was this game instead which really annoyed me, so I had to pick up another copy. Uh, Beyond Good and Evil, a lot of PS2 stuff I lost the cases for as well, like uh, Budokai Special Edition, Budokai Free Special Edition, Enter the Matrix, uh, Grand Theft Auto, for some reason I have two copies of that, uh, Killzone Hidden Invasion, uh, Resident Evil Outbreak, Silent Hill 2, um, that's the special edition for the PS2. That was uh, real tough to see the case for that get destroyed. And uh, we have some Xbox original games and stuff like that. Uh, my Final Fantasy X uh, copy got destroyed, which had the uh, DVD in it as well. Uh, so I haven't got a version of the case that can fit that. And then I'll turn this around so you can see the other side if I can actually do that properly. So I'll show you the rest of the games here. Um, really, uh, I'm going to take the camera off the stand to do this because it'll be much easier. So, uh, oh, shaky camera! Okay, like, you got to be used to it by now. <laughs> so the rest of the Baldur's Gate, Grand Fedora, Dawn of War, uh, Icewind Dale, Motocross there. We have uh, Neverwinter Nights the Movies, that's an amazing game. And uh, we have, so Worms there, that's a really sweet game. Tekken 3, I picked up a copy since then. A lot of these I've picked up since the fact, uh, Baldur's Gate, uh, Devil May Cry. I've picked up replacements since the time. Um, Final Fantasy X, as I mentioned, I lost my original copy of that. Uh, Resident Evil Outbreak on the Motion 2, Smackdown vs. Raw Tekken Tag Tournament. Yeah, I had to pick up a lot of these again, like ECW. Uh, Halo 2, I still don't have the steelbook for that, which bugs me. And uh, we've got FIFA here. I'm not too bothered about picking up a copy of FIFA for the GameCube again. A couple of demo discs here. I wish I picked, kept more of my demo discs, but there you go. So, um, that is my collection. For a full list of all of my games, check out my Darkadia. Link is in the description. Thanks for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you next time.